Hey guys, it's the loud guys. Today we are going to react to what is the most elite military unit in the United States. So this is a very interesting question to know because like of course we knew that okay SEAL Team 6 or the SEALs are the most uh, you know the most rugged or the most powerful unit in the or the most elite unit in United States but if there is a question like this then I think so there are some more units that might be more powerful and that we might not know about because we just know about the Navy SEALs and those are the best ones and we also know about the Marines one Marines yeah. like how they help and like we have seen a lot of movies around that but let's see what are the most elite military units and normally I've seen that every country has one or two elite military units like we do have our para commandos in India so those are very very powerful and those are somewhat like the most feared ones in the world and of course every country feels like their soldiers are the best ones or the feared ones so similarly we feel like okay they are the best ones so and every country has those kind of soldiers uh, so if there are too many units in United States then we have to see and learn about them so let's see uh, and I do believe that army of the military uh, army of the uh, america is very strong because it is not only strong and most importantly it is also very calm we have seen a lot of operations which they completed and they completed it very calmly we can say that uh, the army of the america is not only you know uh, strong but it, it is not only physically strong but it is also mentally strong and to be honest i am so much excited to watch this video and too much excited to know that who is the most powerful or the smartest you know um military unit of the united state and yet all the units are very powerful but it is literally it is so difficult to uh to you know to get uh, get to know that who is actually very powerful so yeah i'm so much excited to know so let's watch the video yes and the amount of videos that we have watched i think so i have more knowledge about the american military than the indian military yeah, <laughs> so literally. that is the <laughs> yes this, that is the case with both of us so let's see this video also and let's enlighten ourselves with this unit What is the most elite military unit in the United States? Hello and welcome to the US Military News Channel, where we discuss all things military. As if inter-service rivalries were not enough, within the special operations community there is jockeying for the top spot. Who is toughest? Who is more capable? What training is the hardest to complete? While special operators generally have professional respect for each other, mm. like anything, opinions vary about what is the most elite military unit in the United States. So there is an internal rivalry? Maybe. Here's USAM's list of elite military units that might help you decide what the most elite military unit in the US is. Okay, we'll surely decide at the last like which I feel is the most elite Marine Corps Marine Raiders Corps. Marine Corps US Marine Corps Raiders formed in 1942 provide customized military combat skills training and advisement support for foreign forces Marines and sailors of the Marine Raider Regiment train, advise, and assist friendly military forces, enabling them to support their nation's security and stability. Okay. They work in small teams to eliminate targets. They deploy scalable, expeditionary forces worldwide to accomplish special operations missions. Marine Raiders execute complex operations in uncertain environments, achieving silent success and strategic impact. Marine Corps Force Recon. Oh, so there are two parts of it. Marine Corps and this one and this recon. The Marine Corps recon. also has Force Recon Units, a direct action unit, and their primary responsibility is to collect information and... I do think that it is very difficult to be in, you know, water and you have to protect your country. So I do think it is very difficult and you can, you know, get sick. If you are in water for a long time, you can get, uh, get sick. And if you do not have a training, uh, like... Uh, when the youngsters uh, join the army, maybe in the beginning they got fever and all because their uh, bodies are not used to this. So maybe I do think that uh, if you are in the water and you are protecting your country, I do think that it is the toughest job you can do and I do think it, it is the, you know, big thing which you can do for your country. 
yes we have seen many training videos in which they have to go through a lot and they have to be in the water and like they suffer hypothermia and all of that but they still fight for it so let like it is their very hard training that makes them ready for this job enemy territory by providing intelligence for operations on the battlefield as part of this force, the Marine Sniper can provide effective harassing fire from a distance and they're capable of tracking the enemy. But don't be fooled, these Marines conduct raids on high value targets and can take out the bad guys. Force Recon was formed in 1954. Force Recon 1954. Army Special Forces. Army Special Forces. Are these President ones? Known as the Quiet Professionals, U.S. Army Special Forces, or Green Berets, make a strong argument to answer the question of what is the most elite military unit in the U.S. Okay. Formed in 1952 at Fort Bragg by U.S. Army Colonel Aaron Bank, Green Berets have their roots in World War II when Bank worked in the Office of Strategic Services Organizing, Training, and Equipping the French Resistance. After World War II, Banks saw a need to organize a mobile, adaptable fighting force that could help foreign nations friendly to the United States. Special Forces was born. Training to become a Special Forces Soldier, or SF Soldier, is done in six phases and takes at least a year to complete. Special Forces Soldiers are trained to perform several missions in a small team structure. Six years to complete? They perform counterinsurgency missions, often employed to prevent terrorist and insurgent incidents yeah, like, abroad. They all respond all to either. terrorist activities and train yeah. other not nations' militaries in the basics of fighting insurgents. They also perform unconventional warfare activities conducted to enable resistance movements or insurgencies to coerce, disrupt, or overthrow a government or occupying power by operating through or with an underground auxiliary and guerrilla force in a denied area. They do mostly the dirty work. They conduct direct action missions to seize, capture, recover, or destroy enemy material or recover personnel. One of their better known missions is foreign internal defense, where they train and equip foreign allied military forces. Oh. They have also been known to conduct surveillance in hostile, denied, or diplomatically or politically sensitive environments. Lastly, on security force assistance missions, SF soldiers are called upon to train and develop the defense capabilities of friendly and developing nations. But are the Green Berets the answer to what is the most elite military unit in the US? Till now, yes. Army Rangers. Army Rangers. We haven't the US heard Army about Rangers this. might argue differently. Yes, never. Rangers are the Army's elite light infantry, supporting other special operation forces or conducting direct action raids themselves. Okay. It takes about two months to complete Ranger School's three phases, Benning Phase, Mountain Phase, and Florida Phase. Florida Phase. The Rangers got their start long before the start of the Revolutionary War. In the mid-1700s, Captain Benjamin Church and Major Robert Rogers formed Ranger units to fight during the King Philip's War and in the French and Indian War. Rogers wrote 19 standing orders that are still in use today. Rangers can be spotted by their tan berets. Air Force Pararescue. Air Force Pararescue. Pararescue men, also known as PJs, live by their motto that others may live. A lot of other organizations Not use this motto fun, as well, but, but yeah. it is unique to the PJs who got their start in 1946 and saw an upstick in missions in Vietnam where they made their name. Hmm. PJs are primarily charged with rescuing downed pilots, oh. but they provide advanced life-saving medical attention in a variety of missions. Oh, this is more important, no? Saving it takes life. approximately two years for an airman to become a fully trained PJ. And while many are trained in scuba, halo, and other special skills, oh. most state that their medical training is the most challenging part of their training. Air Force, Air Force Combat, Combat Controllers. Control. Combat Controllers are FAA certified air traffic controllers who manage air traffic in remote and hostile environments. They are inserted behind enemy lines and they help with target acquisition on the ground and they provide crucial air support to ground forces. Naturally, they are trained in everything from military freefall parachuting to combat scuba diving as well as SARE, oh. forward air controlling and other special tactics. 
Combat controllers work with all special operations forces like the Army Rangers, Navy SEALs, Delta, etc. They specialize in calling in airstrikes, setting up landing sites, and attacking and converting an enemy airfield into a U.S. airfield. At that point, they work as air traffic controllers. So they do all the administrative kind of work. Air Force Tactical Air Control Parties. Oh, Tactical Air Control Party. Tactical Air Control Parties, or TACP, manage close air support. Think A-10 and artillery often behind enemy lines. TACPs usually are assigned or attached to army units. They are a part of the unit they are assigned to support and they call in airstrikes and support those units. They are on the ground, fighting alongside with their army brethren, only they are performing duties as a forward air controller as well. Oh. Air Force Special Reconnaissance Reconnaissance The most unique Air Force Special Operators are the folks who wear the Grey Beret. They definitely gray could beret. be who comes to mind when someone asks what is the most elite military unit in the US. But again, it depends on who you ask. SR types used to be known as Special Operations Weather Team Airmen, but in 2019, the Air Force announced they would have a new name and mission, and now they are known as the Special Reconnaissance Airmen, and their focus has shifted from specialized weather analysis to multi-domain reconnaissance and surveillance. Oh. SR Airmen deploy from airborne, maritime, or land-based platforms deep behind enemy lines to collect and exploit key information, develop targets, and tilt the battle space to favor U.S. forces. SR Airmen survey and prepare the battle space to provide global access, air, space, and cyberspace superiority. Like this just shows the power of USA, like they have a team for survey, they have a team for lifting pilots, injured pilots, and they have a special team for everything. Yeah. They have a team for like fighting, of course that every country has, but they have a team for medical, they have a team for everything, and everything is one of you know they are elite in their own because what the work they do it cannot be uh, like repeated by the other team that's how important they are so every team has to work in tandem to make sure that us is working properly and the army is working properly so hats off man this and, is great and i do believe that's the reason why we call america as the most powerful country and this is the only reason that it is not very easy to defeat america and i do think and it's not like they have units or they have only units for this work but they have specialized units for the particular work which makes the army more stronger and more unique uh, and it is not and most important it is not very easy to hire uh, you know uh, so much units because you have to also pay for those units so we can say that it is uh, also on the same side it is very expensive but yeah they these uh, you know these soldiers are also very specialized in their work so that's make the you know our uh, american army very different and powerful navy, navy seals. seals the missions of the navy seals sea air mm. land include direct action warfare special reconnaissance counterterrorism and foreign internal defense oh. established in 1962 seals are a nimble maritime force designed for unconventional warfare Oh my god. They conduct insertions and extractions on air, sea, or land to accomplish covert special operations slash warfare missions around the world. They capture or kill high value enemy personnel. They're the guys that put a cap in Bin Laden. Oh yeah. They collect information and intelligence through special recon. They perform small unit direct actions against military targets. Hmm. They conduct underwater recon or demolition of man-made and natural obstacles prior to amphibious landings. SEALs are inserted by parachute, submarine, helicopter, high-speed boat, foot patrol, or combat swimming. They can do everything. According to the Navy, it takes about 30 months to become a fully trained SEAL. 30 months. Do SEALs answer the question of what is the most elite military unit in the U.S.? looks like it. Army Delta Force. Army Delta Force. Delta Force is not just a Chuck Norris action movie. It is a very real U.S. military special operations unit and likely the military's worst kept secret, although you can be standing next to a Delta operator and never know. Uh huh? Known as the 1st Special Forces Operational Detachment Delta, or commonly referred to as Delta Force, 
Combat Applications Group, the unit, Army Compartment and Element, or Task Force Green, depending who you are, Delta is an elite Army Special Operations Force under the control of Joint Special Operations Command. The unit performs counterterrorism missions, hostage rescues, direct action missions, and special recon. Oh, wow. Delta is a Tier 1 unit usually tasked with the most complex, classified, and dangerous missions. Most Delta operators are chosen from Army Special Forces and Army Rangers, but some hail from other Special Ops units. Delta was formed in 1977 by Colonel Charles Beckwith. Although most Delta operators will never be publicly recognized, Master Sergeant Gary Gordon and Sergeant First Class Randy Shugart both earned the Medal of Honor for their actions in the Battle of Mogadishu in 1993. Okay. The term operator, when referring to American Special Ops personnel, comes directly from the Army's Special Forces. In 1952, 10 years before the SEALs were established and 25 years before Delta was founded, SF was using the term operator. All qualified Special Forces personnel had to agree to the code of the Special Forces operator and sign the pledge. In 2006, the Navy added Special Warfare Operator as a rating, and these days most people in Special Operations are known as operators. What is the most elite military unit in the U.S.? You be the judge. But in our opinion, all of these folks are the most. Yeah. At the end, the narrator said my words that, okay, all of these units are actually elite units. Like, what they do cannot be repeated by any other units and they are, you know, incomparable. But, you know, we have to be the judge and we have to choose. And somewhere down the line, I have two main forces, like the Special Forces and also the uh, Navy SEALs. I think so. These two are two forces which I feel do the most hard jobs. And even the Delta Force, like, because Delta Force force uh, like people soldiers do not get recognized like after like they do their job and they do not get recognized and that is at the hard part of it even i think the navy seals also do not get recognized i think so only special forces get uh, till special forces you get recognized by people and you get to know them but uh, all these other guys are never recognized only if they're recognized it means that either they have died or they have failed so that is the case so that is they do not want to be re uh, recognized ever so for me i think so i will go for navy seals because they do all the like the big jobs like going for osama bin laden and every guy so osama bin laden uh, and capturing him and killing him was never going to be easy and they did it and even like seeing that how like hardship how many hardship they did they face like their one helicopter went down and even after that they were able to work on it so it just shows i think so the most elite unit is the navy seal and seriously it is not very easy uh to go into the army and like i do think that uh for me though every each and every unit is so special and it would be totally wrong to say that this unit is uh, more stronger as compared to this one because they i do think they are doing equal efforts they are doing equal you know hard work for it and if we talk about you know india so in india the wages which is given to the soldier is very low but in america uh the wages which is given to the uh soldier is is high as compared to the indian soldiers so that uh, you know so that's the benefit uh, which you will get in the america but it's not the same in the india so uh, but you know i do think that it is not at all very easy to you know to join the army and to serve your country and i also do believe that you should always respect the soldiers soldiers because they are the one who are so loyal to their country who are who you know uh, who will always ready to you know to die for their country so that's the reason you should always respect the soldiers and to be honest i, I it would be very wrong to say that you know who is the most stronger and a uh, stronger unit of the army and uh if if uh from these units stop if one of uh one of the units stop doing work uh like very hard or they, ju they just stop doing work in the america then it uh, then the america army will vanish uh, like enough 
few time so uh, so yeah definitely i like this video and at the end i just want to say that for me each and every unit was so stronger and more, uh, so powerful yes this video was very very informative about the most elite units and we got to know about a lot of units like we did not knew about these many units of united states army so what do you guys feel about it and which is your which, which according to you is the most elite unit do let us know that in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.